Okay, cool. There we go. 15 lineage, secure and occupied to stabilize the region. And then this place is a commerce income location. It does have a garrison um, that I can utilize at least to stabilize the region a bit more easily. And there is a military uh, building here. I think it's the one uh let me see yeah, i'm gonna have to uh what do you call it alternate it i don't care about about food here so just keep the, those two buildings for now um food does help with well keep it for now and that way government building yeah the military building will help us reduce the military building construction costs the food can go okay cool oh shit yeah he's wounded damn dude i got him i got him freaking wounded man oh geez what am i doing to myself or to him <laughs> That's so sad. And then there's a uh, Gungsun Duo over here. They gotta be eliminated. But dealing with uh, this side over here, which is where the big army is. Mm, we're called these guys. And then depending on where that army rotates, I'll deploy them. And of course, I need to get my main army into action. I just can't be playing with three random characters and winning the campaign with them. We'll play with these guys over here. Get that all built up. Um, no spies. Not gonna spend money on them right now. Um, that's not gonna be... Dude, I need to build this place up. And here also, I removed the tax collection. So I was gonna build that. I mean... Yeah. Build that back up for now. And then once the public order becomes an issue, deconstruct it again, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Very, 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 very good. Okay. And John Lian leveled up. So get him more charge bonus. And then he can get, damn, 25 more charge bonus. And then Vanguard here gives 10% more armor. So that one gave him plus eight and 25 more charge bonus. So he's at 283. Jesus. Okay. I believe that's, what's this one that I see here? Oh, it's just this shit. Okay. What about Jashu? What am I going to do with him? Man, I got to deploy him somewhere. Not in this army. This dude got to level up again, man. What, what level is he? It's about 13,000 more experience. Okay, let's go. So my air leveled up. So I can get him now 25% um, redeployment cost reduction with flexibility. That is is good i did get an item where is it in farmer so i got 20 percent more food production what is this diplomacy event wujing declare war so another person went independent of gs or of this guy so the army rotated over here dude oh he's in force march i was about to say we can reach him no way yeah so we gotta deal with this ass over there and this is still giving me 10 prestige so that's not bad anyways so this place as i was saying is good for commerce income but taking advantage of mr zhang he being where he is i can build lean to level five the barracks can be eliminated um going back over here i can build the joint administrative office i need the public order mm, yeah spend a thousand dollars there this place needs a lot of investment so does this one so if i zhang he is not deployed and i don't think the army john lian's not in the picture i don't think the army can take on these guys by themselves so this guy has pretty good movement let's get over here because our military supplies are getting destroyed there we go and then you can rotate over how much movement does he have not much actually and he does not have a artillery piece which is good okay yeah, let public order go down. oh shit minus nine yeah you know i got i got greedy there okay let that be built let this be built over here and here no we can deconstruct this commerce income because this place is going to be a food location as i've been saying and then let's deploy in this location zhang he and then wen show oh wait he's back Duh. okay and jia shu is cheaper to recruit now okay cool anyways jan lian get in the picture the homies are back in town and then Zhang He has leveled up again, and I can go for diligence. Jeez, dude. And I can get scholarship. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, I can go for scholarship and intuition and make him even better as an admin, I guess. In the end, that's primarily his main re his main um focus. Okay, step right there. Very good. You're in force march. Um, Zhang He, where am I gonna move you? This place definitely, dude. This place needs a lot of help. Get this punk out of here and move him over here and fix this joint up now. Yep, there we go. It's only going down by minus four. But that's because zhang has deployed here if not it'll be much worse and then in this location because i keep getting the population going up i haven't built the building that i need to stabilize the public order so once the population reaches a pretty good magnitude close to 1.5k then i'll switch this place up to actually have the population i'm at minus 18 percent corruption that's not good so i need to focus on reducing corruption very 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 soon i have characters that can do it definitely um but yeah nothing yet that i want to invest in and then here as i was saying this is commerce location I can't afford the inn. Can't afford anything there. Do I want to switch anything up here? Not for now. So I was saying, dude, you can see what you can build over here. What are you doing? Don't build that. I mean, I would want to get the marketplace built here, definitely. And the state workshop as well. And the private workshops. Yeah, I'm just going to multiply commerce income here as much as I can. So, mm, but I like to specialize how I build things. And then here, I think I can remove the garrison building pretty soon. That's why it's going down by, my, down by minus five now. Yeah. Damn, dude, I just need a little bit more money. Yeah. Let's get, I would say, another state workshop here.
here and then we build it up and then get the corruption reduction um f uh version of the building so then this uh industry location also gets good income re or corruption reduction adjacently why well, doesn't necessarily need it but yeah and this place is still level six which i don't necessarily need it to be level six and in turn i can get closer to my goal which is 50 overall food which i'm gonna actually drop down from that in a bit because i'm building this place needs to be get built up now yeah okay so actually yeah hold off on this on building up this joint perhaps get yeah get a peasantry income building here for now and then once this place gets cleaned up and this one too i'll just deconstruct these peasantry buildings that i don't need and way does not need this to get built up okay what about uh diplomacy same stuff again oh my god gsc wants peace sorry buddy you gotta get eliminated yeah that's not gonna happen man what you want is not gonna happen and i'm out of seasonal revenue deployments i need to capture this place up here so i can build the seasonal revenue deployments building here this is an auxiliary commandeery so i can boost that magnitude up further okay that will be it here let's continue so the decrees of the emperor have started and one of them is to defeat two armies or garrisons of Juan and Shu, which i'm not gonna be doing and i get the uh, pop-up for taking the emperor in and believe me we're taking the emperor in it's gonna cost some diplomatic penalties but the bonuses oh shit senjan actually damn i haven't seen that in a while so mateng damn you were mateng too all right so senjan got pissed off with me we vassalized the han empire so we're at 8.5k income right now damn and we got 11k and because of the arrival of the emperor we got plus five satisfaction and plus five public order friends uh the heir kong jia who the hell's kong who dude that's kong rung's that dude's still alive somewhere what i got one more assignment the hell did i get one more assignment i believe public appeasement oh public appeasement ran out over here okay and this place as i was saying go up up and up oh shit lean okay and we can reach all the way over there the question is what's going on over here joan chan i summon you what who the hell's the army oh shit hmm weird sneaky guy he's somewhere around here i know it i don't want to just send my army up there he's gonna get they're gonna get murdered and this guy's he's not injured anymore okay dude i still got 7k income oh my god yeah build that up now bohai is a food location this place too jesus dude okay so lean still has two more turns of uh getting built up easily there's miss sanghe put him back here and here we go so i believe i want to do a state workshop and a private workshop there that's gonna get me to some good overall income in this location we're not gonna build it up any further and then this place we can actually continue building up peasantry income and this is a food joint songshan also as for songshan i like the military force building just for the random ancillaries that i keep getting but i would lose the patrol barracks which is helping me in diplomacy i can only build one building at once so just build that one up here uh, when i can and i'm not building anything else here this place is gonna go up slowly but surely i still got four thousand dollars dude jesus the food the food okay cool agricultural income reduction there dude plus 25 freaking public order in this location okay so get big boy army over this way that's where the army is okay so this is what we're gonna do you are gonna ro gonna rotate all the way over there and you are gonna rotate over here so what's gonna happen is this army is gonna get caught off and die and he's gonna get caught off at die and he's gonna die and dude that was so, that was so cheesy what do what you dude that is that was really bad that was like horrible you can go in this territory it's not gonna hurt how many more deployments do i have two more so i want to get this guy deployed and i have the money for it right now and the reason why i simply want to do it is because oh dude this freaking that's what i hate about this awesome um ui mod that i'm using it sometimes just like hovers over like this and gets messed up he has a lot of units but as i, as I keep saying i'm not gonna use them but i want to make sure that he's ready to have units that he will be utilizing like g vanguard crossbows which he could give snipe to which is disgusting there we go so he's ready for usage um he has a grudge he has fondness towards sao sao what a little punk okay we're from the picture John, oh shit Juan chang also and then here race army there we go nothing funky going on over here so we can forget about it at least all these people have some of the items that i figured away like she she has the freaking uh dignified raiment which i want to get back okay what are we doing with you i believe they do um who can have night battles here you can wish i don't know if he does well i can find out right now no they don't have night battles the archers do not have uh shots okay can reach me question is if i put myself here can i reach this settlement with this guy in force march and then have an easier time grabbing the rest of these regions i still got a thousand dollars left wait no way 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 what am i doing yeah keep the as i was saying peasantry income peasantry income peasantry income okay take advantage of more peasantry income i guess public order leave it at the ground okay excellent excellent sanjan's army has been stuck here i mean he's barely even moved what is going on okay and uh, i haven't looked at spies nothing useful yet 
Okay. Cheng Ping leveled up. He is a farmer, utility character. Uh, later in the game, he might not... No, he's going to be just utility. So use that for corruption reduction purposes. And that will be it. Let's go. All right. So it's winter now. I have 11k in funds. Panje here has leveled up yet again. And as I was saying, he was just going to be used for um non... Basically assignment purposes. So at lean, Sanghe is still here. And I have one more turn of taking advantage of this thing. So take advantage of it now. Build these two up right now. Um, hold on. Oh. Fucking okay, dude, just wasted your money. Just incredible, incredible brilliance, incredible foresight, you know? Yes, I don't, I really don't build them like you anymore, man, I'll tell you. Okay, um, this place though. I said I wanted to fix it up even more. There, I get that there. And then remove Sanghe and then put him at bit high. Oh, wait, dude, of course, you can only build one building at once, man. Well, 366. God damn, dude. Brought up my income like crazy. Need to bring up my public order though, because he's giving plus five right now, but that's going to be gone in a bit. And then food is at 40. Food is too low. Government support this needs to go up now sun chan we're gonna go down in food if i build that yeah that's gonna go down and then here um the peasantry income is 110 here which is good but i'm gonna be losing how much public order am i gonna be losing I'm losing plus five public order so this will start going negative i can still keep the, the income there for now here though we're not gonna need it anymore we're gonna deconstruct it there bohai is good this place is good how close am i to do holy shit only 23 more got a wooden dog there that's cute so he actually rotated over to grab that small region which in turn means he could push towards this location if he wants to he will be able to replenish this army it'll be actually kind of weak though how much movement is he gonna have though pretty good movement let me get juan shan here or lady liu there's no army there i can't see what's going on over here because i have a crazy plan and the plan is that i want to get him moved over to this little corner here so i'll rotate um this army to a precarious little spot right here and then this army does not go to negative territory because the logistics impeded is gonna kill me but then we'll be able to cut off this army now let's grab this little livestock farm here a lumber yard dude, dude what are you saying we'll grab that little lumber yard there good and this is a terrible idea this is a horrible idea but i believe in us so let's see how we do this um there should be one oh provides terror so i can give him that title temporarily okay so we're gonna abuse this shit he's gonna get lord of thunder so he's gonna get scare when attacking and then jan lian we're going to abuse as well and we're gonna give him terror now we should in turn be able to get these people routed pretty fast i don't have uh night battles though holy shit dude and then you have already crazy amounts of hp so first things off is take off the archers and then the g militia then the spear then the spear warriors and the infantry captains oh this is gonna be hard let's go i mean not really i'm exaggerating but it'll be interesting if i make a wrong move i could pay pretty badly thanks to the spear warriors so i believe that he's going to oh he distributed his units that's good so this is what's gonna happen oh that is that's a nice little pal right there who's who Beat him up, beat him up. He cannot rally back. Shattered. Very good. Oh my god, dude. We took out the G infantry captains already. Dude, the GM dude, why did he route? <laughs> it makes no sense. They're all just randomly routing from all the losses, dude. Let me see, let me see. They're probably getting like massive casualties. Let me see. Damage sustained. What? What the hell did I charge them? We have fatigue immunity with him, so we can go around. Oh, dude, hold the fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 
shit. Did not see that there. That was pretty bad. Oh, oh, do not turn on that oil, bro. Hurry up. Oh, we need to grab this little capture point. That's what we're going to do here. Sanghe is gonna hold the line here. Well, these guys psycho charge everything to death. Oh my god, dude. Okay, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead, dude. Dude, it's not even fair, man. Just shatter them, shatter them, shatter them. Five seconds before I get the charge bonus still active. God damn, even they're gone. Oh, 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 oh. oh dude. Fucking broken. Dude, so broken, man. Oh, dude, we're gonna munch through everybody here, man. Get over here. Oh, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got too greedy. <laughs> I'm coughing. I'm so sick. Good lord, look at all these kills, man. 15 lineage, secure and occupy, stabilize everywhere. Very nice. And it's level 3. And good peasantry income too. Okay, so how are we doing now? Pretty damn good. Two turns to get over there. So that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I was actually helping my income this turn. Okay, and um, taxation. Corruption is gonna kick in pretty soon. Dude, be careful with that. Um, Can we reach there? Yes, because my plan is... Oh, shit. That is not... Okay, see, not scary. You? Really scary. So this will require my entire army, finally. Not doing using these guys anymore. Um, But let's get... Let's do this. Make sure I have enough campaign movement for the next turn. So let's get... Get Dushi right here. Mm, Jashu. God. Oh my god. I wanted to get the lineage, dude. I'm special. Okay. And then here. Um, I'd say downgrade it. Okay. Uh, excuse me. And we need to put the Joanna administrative building here. Stop messing around with that. All right. There we go. Nothing else to build. Nothing else to do. No spies. Oh. <gasps> oh. I see she. I see she. And a spy in the Sasso's faction. Oh, shit, dude. How did I get visibility with Liu Yao? When I got the... Oh, when I got the Han Empire. Oh. Bro, Han Empire still got a lot of territories. Holy crap. Damn. Oh. What the hell happened down here? Not doing too bad. Hmm. How much money does he have, though? A lot of money, as always. My reliability is still too bad. So, anyways, um, as I was uh, doing, I'm going to stop building this here. And I'm going to go to Act the Spies. And, dude, $3,000. Fuck, dude. How expensive can you be? Actually, Shen Gu, if I want to get a spy in South House Faction, which I do, it's going to cost me a lot of money. But it's worth it. So, what else was I building? Put some here for a reason. Don't stop building that. Oh, don't stop building that. Oh, shit, dude. Hmm. Boom. Damn, that almost gives me enough money. Oh, that... Oh. Oh, I can get both of them. I just need two pennies. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Here, you need food. You know that. You, come on, dude. dude. Come on, man. I cannot be that bad. Freaking people, dude. All right, hold on. What about you? Will you give me... Fucker. Well, you know what? Let's go to this guy. Who's he at war with? Oh, shit. He's at war with everybody. So, if I trade this crap... This crap... Hmm. Oh, a lot of crap. Request payment. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. 
So that will give me a vassal in, I mean, a spy in Tai CC. Oh shit. 65, dude. Oh my God. And he's the heir? And he's the heir. Oh, that is so cute. Um, extract spy. No, I need to spend a little bit more. Eight and 15. Yeah. So I'll get him out the next turn. That's okay. Uh, no, I need to wait a little bit more. And then the other person is, where's this guy? Shinju in the house. Build on the cover network. And I need to do interference because gonna, he's going to be around for a while. Oh, and we could potentially cause some of these guys to start leaving. Yeah, some of these people are actually kind of struggling in happiness so we could really affect uh mr oh he's a oh he's not an administrator oh, i wish he was okay i wish you would bitch okay damn some people are really struggling so if i can get another person to become a spy that would be great okay nice i see see it should you beautiful okay this is the lady i wish would be join my faction but she doesn't appear to want to become my spy sad face okay that's it right let's go